Do you like your Arthurian legends? Well, let's talk about The Dragons of Camelot, a 2014 movie made by Mark L. Lester, who you may know as the director of Commando, starring Arnold Schwarzenegger, and Firestarter, starring Drew Barrymore. So, the series made a very low budget, sort of sword and sorcery, fantasy flick basically which is essentially a sequel to the kind of uh, King Arthur legend and basically the movie starts with King Arthur's death so if you kind of are familiar with King Arthur's legend up until that point this essentially tells you a version at least of the story after that sort of fact basically. Now if you are a purist on the kind of the Arthurian legend this is probably going to piss you off to be quite honest because obviously this is really just taking things and sort of running with it to make it sort of own story. So don't be expecting a retelling of the sort of classic sort of King Arthur Camelot story. But basically what we have here is King Arthur on his deathbed legend. Morgan Le Fay basically sees this as an opportunity to sort of seize power and that's what she does and she essentially either convinces or coerces the majority of the knights and kind of like supporters of King Arthur to essentially uh, rally to her cause and overthrow anyone who was still sort of loyal to King Arthur and basically it's up to Galahad who manages to escape to try and round up his father Lancelot along with a kind of a few other kind of like wandering knights to kind of get this kind of resistance together and fight back. But Morgan Le Fay has basically employed a bunch of dragons to kind of defend the castle and kill these rousy rebels. So it sounds quite exciting, but you have to remember this film is a low budget film, so take those expectations down a notch because obviously what you've got on display here is some low budget material. Doesn't mean to say it's not fun, but it is very, very low budget. And that's going to be the main issue here, but everything that this kind of film does really seeps through as a very kind of low budget production. Now, the the actual film itself, on the plus side, it, I guess it's kind of fun. It is kind of a, a fun film, but in a kind of one of those bad movie type of ways. Because, as I've mentioned, this film is just so cheap on every level. I have to say, I have to give it one prop, so considering the budget which is obviously on display here the visual effects aren't too bad there's a fair amount of kind of visual effects here obviously i've mentioned you've got dragons which is kind of cgi which although they do look cheap when you consider that how the rest of the film looks they probably look you know slightly probably above average compared to everything else but don't do that it's too much of a price so i'll get on to that in a second but you've also got some sort of magic and stuff on display here as well the worst thing here i suppose is just a general uh, the, the feel of the film is just cheap. The way uh, there's there's very few extras, for example, where we have like King Arthur's sort of a burial at sea. There's only about ten people sort of sending him off and th things like that. And the big sort of climatic battle. There's probably about you know twenty or thirty extras at the most, kind of in the, you know around us, kind of like in. You, you literally see some swords bend. There's a couple of scenes where. Uh, you, you know, you're obviously using rubber swords to, to do the sort of fight choreography with and you literally see swords bend. So again, a better eye could be had of possibly the editing here. The story itself is very, very predictable with people just hitting those typical kind of tropes and no real effort being made to kind of make anything sort of surprising or anything less than you're going to expect, essentially. Yes, there's obviously a few sort of heroes who die heroic deaths, but you all know the number's going to be up because they're kind of not the not in the kind of the main cast, I suppose. I guess the, the hero of the story is Galahad himself and also Lancelot, who is played by the uh, an ex-TV gladiator, uh, Mark Griffin, I believe his name is, and... Um, you know, he, he I guess, is, isn't too bad in, in the role, but overall, the acting quality is extremely subpar. Uh, like I said, there's low, it's a low-budget film, and the acting, unfortunately, some of the line delivery is is laughable. It, it's kind of funny. I, I'll give it that. It's kind of funny, but this is like a pantomime. I don't know if you have pantomimes in, anywhere else other than the UK, but if you're from the UK, you're going to know what I'm talking about here. So if you've seen, you know, Aladdin or Cinderella and you've got the kind of the boo hiss villain, it is literally like watching a pantomime on screen. Some of the sort of the dialogue and the, and the way that it's kind of uh, said by some of the sort of characters is so like over the top and kind of if funny. It just reminds me of, of a kind of fans, uh, a pantomime on film, basically. Do you really think you can kill me in place of my power? I'll kill both of us if I must. Your reign has come to an end, Morgan. My name will live on in infamy. The people of Camelot shall remain captured in the spell of fear. Which you may or may not like, but th this is really kind of just, you know, like I say, um, 
a, a low budget production, although it has a, its fun side, it really don't expect anything too sort of thrilling or kind of breathtaking in regards to its sort of storytelling or anything like that. But it, it still had this kind of fun vibe, so I will give it that. And I didn't know, I, I watched the film until, in, until it's end. Some of these things I kind of struggled to sit through. But this one, I was at least laughing along with it. So I'm going to give this movie a 4 out of 10, um, you know. There you go, it's nothing spectacular. And I, 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 to be honest, I feel like I'm giving it high marks purely because it was entertaining me, maybe for the wrong reasons. But I'm going to go with 4 out of 10. Uh, have you seen it? What did you think of it? Leave me a comment and I'll look forward to seeing you next time. Bye for now.